Hello, good morning. Welcome to another KHC singles video devotion now for the month of February. Today is the 5th of February and the topic for today is how to unlock open heavens. There is the scattered and yet increase it. And there is that withhold it more than is meet, but it tendeth to poverty. Proverbs 11, 24, New King James Version. I'm going to be writing today on prosperity as it relates to relationship, life, and marriage. I have so many calls in recent times that borders on issues with lack and insufficiency that it becomes needful to teach along this line. KHC is gradually evolving into an online church. If there's anything like that, because of the volume of councils we handle around the world. It is not unusual for people I don't know to call me and say, you're my pastor. I'll be like, how is that possible? The response always, I cannot do without this devotional. My day is never complete without it. Given its part and parcel of life, it is a principle that has been entrenched not just into fibers of our very existence, but indeed a universal law that regulates the entirety of the universe. The scripture above says, when you give, you will increase. This month on KHC, it is our month of fruitfulness and one of the ways your life will advance is being sensitive to God and obeying his promptings. It also says, when you hold back for any reason, it usually tends to poverty. Actually, poverty is not a spirit. It is not just a spirit oppressing very poor people, but also one that oppresses very well-to-do people. Yes, one could have some coins in his bank account and still be bound by the spirit of poverty. How will one know? You always find it difficult to give. I have learned from experience that when you start asking God for prosperity, he starts asking you for a seed. I never understood that principle before. It just didn't make sense. I thought God should pity me. Yes, he does not only pity you. He actually has compassion for you. And that is why he often asks you to give. God will never leave you without a seed. The scripture says, he giveth seed to the sower and bread to the eater. It now depends on you to be smart, not to consume all upon your own lusts and differentiate your seed from your harvest. You are to sow your seed and eat your bread. In every harvest, there is a seed. The moment you eat your seed with the harvest, you just busted an opportunity to eliminate lack and insufficiency in coming days. Giving is like a circle and a cycle at the same time. You are either in or out. That is why we encourage our partners to give monthly. When you give to God's cause, God will also make sure he is there for you. It is life's principle. The moment you start resisting this message, there is a problem you confront and deal with. The truth is that the devil does not want you to give ever. He likes you to put in, he likes to put you in a place where you see yourself as the needy all the time. And when you are in that mode, it is impossible to have financial blessings. Even in relationships, the moment he or she is finding it difficult to give you, something is wrong somewhere. Love gives. For God so loved the world that he gave. Do you remember the widow? She was to eat her last meal with her son and then die. Elijah got there and said, give first. She obeyed and her barrel of meal did not waste. Neither did the oil fail. And she said, as the Lord thy God liveth, I have not a cake, but a handful of meal in a barrel and a little oil in a cruise. And behold, I am gathering two sticks that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat it and die. And Elijah said unto her, Fear not, go and do as thou hast said, but make me thereof a little cake first, and bring it unto me. 
and after make for thee and thy son. For thus saith the Lord God of Israel, The barrel of meal shall not waste, neither shall the cruise of oil fail. Until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. And she went and did according to the saying of Elijah. And she and he and her house did eat many days. And the barrel of meal wasted not. Neither did the cruise of oil fail according to the word of the Lord which is spake, on, which is spake by Elijah. 1 Kings chapter 17 verse 12 to 16. King James Version. God wanted to give his only son for us to die for our sin. But the only way he can give his son is if man gives a seed. It is the seed of man that will unlock the harvest in God's hands. So God came and asked for Isaac, sacrifice him unto me. Abraham obeyed. He became the father of faith because if he had not released Isaac, God would never have released Jesus. Because you did not hold back your son, Isaac, I will not hold back my son, Jesus, to die for man's sins. You can never outgive God. It is a law. Even sometimes when you are looking for a job and you pray, God will say, go and give so and so. When you obey, your heavens just open. Don't give sentimentally or emotionally. Give cheerfully and deliberately. Somebody comes around and says, I don't have anything. That is untrue and that could be a poverty mentality because God does not view you that way. The seed you need to get out of every rot is always with you. What is my point? Be a giver. Stay in that circle and keep the cycle going. I will conclude with this scripture. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Galatians 6 verse 9, King James Version. Give yourself out of where you are. God will never owe you. Rather, it will advance your life. That is how it works. God's work needs finances. God's people can give. So he asks them to give so he can bless them and prosper them so that they can give more and then in turn he can bless them more. It goes on like that. Your life advances, God's work advances. That is the method to your miracle. That is the method to your miracle. And now we go to the meditation for the day. And let us not be weary in well-doing for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Galatians 6 verse 9. And now the prayer for the day. One, oh God, open the heavens over my life. Two, oh God, deliver me from the spirit of poverty. Three, my Father and my God, bless me for the purpose of your work. And now the confession for the day. I am not disobedient to God's counsel. I give my seed as it directs me to. I sow because I know my harvest will not be denied. I am not weary in well-doing. I do not give sentimentally or emotionally. I am delivered from the spirit of poverty. I know more lack. Abundance is my lifestyle. The action plan for the day, sow a seed today. We'd like you to partner with us in Cases in Us Club. Uh, to do so, kindly use the banking information you see on the screen. And for international gifts, please navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandhouse.com slash give. God bless you as you do so. This devotional is taken from our books for single marriage, and these books are available on Amazon and on Kada Books. In order to access the books, kindly navigate to the URL you see on the screen at kissesandhouse.com slash books if you live in the city of Ibadan, we'd like you to watch with us at Shouts of Grace Center it's at Joker Plaza beside Trans Amusement Park Odita UI Road in the city of Ibadan on Sundays we have two services by 7.30 and 9 o'clock and by Wednesdays 6pm it will be our pleasure to have you
Kindly follow us on Cases and Us Club at casesandus.com. You have a lot of resources for your soul.